VidCon Australia, and I'm here on day two with Vicky and Brad. How are you, Brad? Good, thank you. How are you, Vicky? Good, Chris. Vicky and Brad are parents of Georgia Productions, uh, a up-and-coming YouTube sensation uh, here in Australia, born and bred in Australia. So, guys, what is it like to be a parent of a YouTube creator? It's uh, it's engaging, it's um, interesting, and it's uh, at times a little uh, well, frustrating, frustrating. <laughs> but it's it's all around fabulous. Yeah. So when. When I guess Georgia disappeared into her bedroom and started talking to her iPad or her camera or whatever, did you guys have any idea what was going on? Um, yeah, she started making little little videos about five or six years ago and then showed one to a teacher at school and that's sort of how it took off from there. They showed it at a teacher's conference and they all thought she was funny and said, you should get a YouTube channel. So we weren't very keen on that at first mm. she was very young and we didn't think it was a good idea but she wore us down over a period of 12 months <laughs> so a teacher inspired her to start a channel yeah yes. yeah absolutely high five high five teach yeah. all right cool and so how long's the channel sort of been going for now three, three years? years yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent and i understand that she's almost finished school Yes, yeah, she's in Year 12 and doing a HSC in New South Wales. Okay. And uh, what's, what's the future look like for Georgia? Is she going to go on a gap year and travel the world? Is she going to go to university? Is she going to get a job? Uh, she would or? Like to, or she would like to be a YouTuber. So <laughs> she would like to continue in this. So she's calling it a gap year, but she's working. She wants to work full time on her YouTube channel and anything else that comes from that. So she's going to be uploading more regularly and trying to grow and build her channel and her audience and she's really excited she just wants she's over school she wants to get into that and um, so we're supporting her to do that for a few years to see where it can take her yeah. so what's the message to parents that are just going freak out no what you're letting her do what you know um, I don't understand uh, you know what's some of the I guess the the journey that you guys have had to go through to, to get to this point of understanding and allowing, I guess, her to, to, to be set free? Well, it was difficult at first because we're actually both high school teachers. Yeah. And so, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was really difficult to let go of that traditional path of school, university, career. Um, and we realised that there's different pathways to success and it, it did take a few years. At first it was just a hobby for her. And the last 12 to 18 months, she's become very serious and has real goals about what she wants to do and a real passion. And as parents, I guess you just want your child to be happy and content in, and imagine going to work every day and loving what you do. Mm. So, and we can see how much she loves it. And so we're willing to support her to do that. But yeah, it, did, it took a while to get our head around that and um, realize that her pathway is gonna be different to what we thought it might've been. Mm. And the opportunity is there now to, to really get into it and, um, you know, it's, those opportunities aren't going to be around for forever and, um, yeah, YouTube is an avenue that didn't exist, you know, mm. only a short time ago. So. You can really create your own career, you can create your own path, mm. create your own identity. It's a new world, right? Mm. It, it's, it's, it's flabbergasting if that's a word to be used here. But, um, okay, so what's the message to other parents then? If, if, if their child comes up to them and says, I want to start a YouTube channel, uh, what would, you, you guys had some hesitations, so uh, what's the lessons that you learned that maybe you can impart on those parents? Give them, uh, give them some boundaries, I suppose, and in saying, well, okay, if you want to pursue this, then you'll pursue it under, you know, some some um, guidelines like you know no use of your uh, last name etc don't identify yeah. your school where you live your yeah. surname don't give away your movements on a daily basis um, in case of, um, as parents first thing you worry about what about all the crazies out there yeah. she's actually had a really positive response from her followers um, and we've been lucky in that but we're very careful and she's very careful even yeah. things in the background like identifying photos or notes she'll say oh I've got to take that off the fridge mum before I'd film mm. there because someone might see that so we're very careful about keeping her private life private 
And I guess the other message would be school always comes first. So she always has to finish all her assignments and do all that before she can do her YouTube. So it's, you know, it's actually helped her to get her work done at school because then she knows she can work on YouTube. <laughs> There's this carrot. They're yeah. dangling this yeah. carrot. That's oh. it. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's been absolutely fantastic um, sharing. And is there anything else that you want to impart on, on, on your on the people out there and, and the journey that's that's been, what, how many years now has this sort of been in development? Over three years yeah. now, yep. yeah. Oh, it's just uh, wonderful to think that these avenues are there for, for young people now and mm. if you've got uh, got the talent and got the, um, the drive and the initiative, then why not? Have you guys thought about what Plan B is together? Have you sort of... Has, is there any discussion about the exit strategy or Plan B or we're just not focusing on that at all? We try to be supportive and focus on what she wants to do, but Plan B would probably be something in that area of um, television, media, editing. Um, yeah. That's where her strengths lie, something creative. Yeah. Um, and I think you make contacts in the industry and that maybe will lead to a different job in the future. So yeah. I would say to parents out there, um, let them do it as a hobby, keep school as your priority. Um, but then if they show real potential and it's a lot of hard work for them actually she spends hours every week yeah. hours mm. upon hours mm. of scripting filming editing editing it takes hours so if they're not serious about it um, she's maintained that for three years so we can see that she's willing to put the hard work in so mm. but you'd, you'd soon see as a parent if it's just something that they think is a bit glamorous and but we're the final stage in the quality assurance process mm. you know, she has to check Okay. Well, we check all we the videos before they before go. Everything before it goes up. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. to, you know, Make like sure. had three sets of eyes on the same thing is. Hey, it's just like marking important. papers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's more fun than marking papers. <laughs> <laughs> A lot more fun, yeah. Great. Thanks so much, guys. And thanks to Wyndham Rewards, who's our sponsor here today. Uh, we wouldn't be here without the support of our sponsors, and uh, you can win. A uh, five night stay at the Temansara Resort, Jiva, Bali. So um, make sure you check out how to enter on our Facebook page. Thanks very much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.